My name is Nate Navigato, junior My forward for Toledo men's basketball team. My name is Mario Jackson, freshman point guard. Let's take a tour of Savage Arena. We're here at the Sullivan Athletic Complex. You know, this is a complex we're very, very grateful to have. Um, over here we got our ticket office where you can buy season tickets or single game tickets. Make sure you come to a couple games this year. We're gonna put on a show. Yep, absolutely. Right here we are at our Varsity T Hall of Fame where we honor all the great players who have came through Toledo. I'm gonna be next, of course. Yeah. To our right we have Rocky's Locker, which we have all the exclusive gear. We need to be ready for game day. We're here in our weight room, and uh, this is obviously where we separate the men from the boys. Uh, we have a ton of different machines and dumbbells and benches and squat racks here, and you know, we put our bodies to good work here, and uh, this is where we get ready for the season. We have an excellent weight trainer, uh, Brandon and Coach Murray. Greatest you ever seen, I'm telling you all that now. Make sure we take care of, this is their house, so we have to make sure we take care of them. They give us the privilege of work coming in here, you know, getting our work in, all that. All right, this is our training room. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people already getting treatment in here. Um, credit to our, all the trainers in here, and then our personal trainer, Brian Jones, who's the best in the business, and he always gets us right. Yeah, we come in here, you know, tape, rehab, anything you think you need to be done to you. You come in here, they yeah, get it done quick, have you right back to your sport in no time. Over here we have our Hydro Works code to where all, all the athletes come in after a long day of practice or conditioning or whatever, and they come in and this loosens up their muscles to get them back refreshed, putting their body refreshed. To my right is the Hydro Works underwater treadmill. Obviously it's very high-end technology we got here. Um, you know, we obviously pray that nothing happens to you and uh, with your legs and everything, but if it does, um, it'll work, it works fast. All right, we're here in our men's basketball locker room. Um, you know, this whole thing was donated by our sponsors and our donors, and um, you know, we're very grateful for them to have uh, such a place like this. You know, and here we just like, it's like a relaxed zone for us, you know, after practice or something, we just come in here, chill, sit on the couches, watch TV, food, little snacks over here, Powerade, you know, just a little chill zone for us, you know. All right, right here is Bob Nichols. Uh, he's the winningest coach here in UT. Um, you know, our court out there in Savage is uh, actually named after him because of his greatness and what he did for the University of Toledo. All right, this is our personal locker room. Um, you know, this is where we get ready for games. Um, we obviously do a lot more than that. We have computers here where we, some people like to do homework and, you know, even just like get on YouTube and look up videos or some things. Um, we have a beautiful lockers behind us. Uh, behind us you have, everybody has their own individual picture for their own locker. Right here we have our laundry lockers where all the athletes have their individual lockers. And we have loops where we put our dirty laundry on and throw them in here and they get clean every day. Now we're in Fetterman practice gym where we come it's 24-hour access. We have 24-hour access here. Anytime we want to work out, get some shots up, whatever, you have to use our rocket card to swipe in, though. There's speakers in here whenever you want to work out. We like to listen to music, you know. Um, we actually have two shooting guns for people who like to get up extra shots. I mean, it's a way to get up more shots efficiently and fast. Um, and the actual court here is actually the old court from downstairs in Savage. And um, it's kind of cool that we get to practice on here whenever we want. This is the Fetterman practice field. Um, this is a tremendous addition to our program. We obviously do a lot of conditioning work in here, which is not always easy. But um, you know, it's good on our legs because of the turf. Every other team comes in here too to do what they need. You got track lanes, soccer, baseball, and the football team comes in here when the weather is too bad to practice outside. Along with the conditioning, we did uh, every Thursday we did this Navy SEAL training for our for our program. Um, you know, coach divided us into three teams and uh, we uh, competed against each other for, for four weeks and um, it was super competitive and I think it was really good for our program. 
Well, here we are, Chapman Basketball Complex. This is the new basketball coach's office. It's not even a year old yet. Come inside, let's take a look. We're inside our offices here at the uh, Chapman Basketball Complex, uh, which was generously donated by uh, George and Leslie Chapman, and we're, we're grateful to have such a complex like this. Um, you know, it comes with the great amenities, the TVs, you know, all these paintings are, are mannequins with all our basketball stuff on it. And then uh, to back there we have our women's offices, and then along this hallway we got our men's. Now we're in our new film room, which allows us to watch film in a theater-style setting. This has been a great new addition to our uh, complex. It allows us to break down and watch film with this whiteboard and this pro projector. Here we have Coach's office. Um, you know, it's obviously out here. It's nice, you know. He's got a lot of things in here. Start off, you see Dwayne Wade's jersey. You know, he's, he's fortunate to coach him at uh, Marquette, and um, I think he learned a lot from him, as I'm sure Dwayne learned a lot from him. Um, over here, we got some former players. We got Ryan Pearson, Juice Brown, Justin Drummond, and Nathan Booth, all Rocket legends. You know, they did a lot for our program. Right here we got brand new artwork that we just got in here. Uh, we got, you know, former players. We got our arena sold out against BG. Um, you know, we obviously set that blue collar gold standard. Um, and yeah, we, we get stuff done. The artwork just captures moments throughout Toledo's basketball history, like someone getting dunked on, the women's basketball team who won the MAC championship. A lot of great artwork. Now we're inside Savage Arena inside the suites where our donors stay and watch the games. They come up here, they you know, have a lot of finger foods, chicken, beverages, refreshments, all the type of things they do while they watch our games. Yeah, this right here is a Grogan room. This is uh, like, you know, where we have team meetings or come in for pregame meals before our home games. Um, this is also a fully functional restaurant for our fans to come and they eat here during the games, before the games, and they even watch our games from up here. They have a great view of our, our arena and uh, when we play, so. We're here in Savage Arena, uh, standing on the court where we win games, you know. Uh, above me, we got the million dollar video board. Um, and then uh, we got our beautiful arena that holds 7,300 seats. Uh, you know, it gets packed in here, it gets loud, we love our fans. Um, we recently just did a $30 million renovation on it um, after it being built in 1976. So it's, it's relatively new and um, super nice. Make sure y'all come to some games. Make sure. Uh, show for you guys.